As Adam and Sharon Long play outside, Nigel Long continues his academic studies at his home in Yeadon. The children are used to their father spending long hours at his word processor. His disability means that 2,000 word essays are typed with the aid of a small stick, one letter at a time. The day that changed Nigel's life came in May 1981. An ill-fated rugby league tackle left him with a broken spine. No use of his legs, only partial use of his arms. Before that, he was a gas fitter, keen on swimming and bodybuilding. That stopped after the fateful tackle. Firstly, I had to look at myself and see what have you got left. And there was only the brain. And some who know me might dispute that. But uh, I've always been one that's had my nose in a book, gaining knowledge generally. And his studies have been made easier. Now he's using a word processor. The main problem for me was typing up the essays, really. Uh, initially, I used an electronic typewriter. And uh, when you've got a 2,000-word essay to type, you get to the end, you realise you've made mistakes. Well, it's too late. And when you're typing away, as I do, one key at a time, you don't want to begin again. Nigel split up with his wife two years ago. He looks after his two children with the help of family and social services and says the children have helped him gain his psychology degree. The experimental work involves testing children for cognitive abilities, such as numeracy and language. So I use my own kids as subjects. It also gives me an insight into how they're thinking. Would you encourage people with disabilities like yours to actually go for an open university degree? Does it help them? I, I would, yes. Simply because, in my position, that there's not much to fill your day, so... I think pursuing anything along these lines gives you something to aim for, gives you something to think about other than your own condition. Congratulatory cards have been arriving at Nigel's home, but the hard work is just beginning. He would like to qualify as a clinical psychologist, and he's now studying for an honours degree, and then possibly a PhD, proving that such severe disability doesn't mean inability to succeed.